When you look at ECB policy, is there anything that actually makes you worried that either they don't have uh, the tools to face a downturn or that they've missed the window of normalizing interest rates? No, first of all, I think they, they were optimizing the monetary policy as well as possible in circumstances that are complex. And uh, as you could see, they decided to prolong a little bit the period of low interest rates or very low interest rates because obviously we have a slowing down of the economy, which is a global slowing down as well as a European one. Uh, so when we have, if we have a recession, of course, the uh, room of man for maneuver of the uh, monetary policy will be meager. It is meager everywhere. It is meager in Japan. It is very meager in, in Europe and also in the US, where you don't have the 5% that are, I would say, normally utilized to combat a recession. Uh, we are at a level which is uh, half of that. So we all are in a situation which is difficult. I trust, of course, that the central bank would do all they would can do, all they would uh, imagine they can do. Uh, in, in the case of Europe, there is the possibility of embarking on TLTRO, which is the long-term re yeah. refinancing operation, which has been decided, but it could be expanded in case we have a recession. Let me also comment on the fact that normally we should not have ourselves a recession because in the business cycle, we should, in the economic cycle, we should, we are uh, late on the U.S. So uh, the problem I, f I see is that when the U.S. has a recession by contagion, the European economy will have also a recession. So at a moment which will not be necessarily the right one, but okay, we will have to face up with the contagion mm -hmm. coming from the U.S. But it's not for tomorrow.